So here's part three of the tour. This is 1S, physical graffiti. Now with all these seedlings, they'll kind of be a lime green and twist and straighten up and turn darker green as they age. Now, I, in my experience, physical graffiti will take full sun in Southern California. It's very, a bit more sun hardy than the others. And it also gets a bit of ant damage or bug damage. So I need to spray neem oil and take better care of this or use diatomaceous earth. Now, Paul described the fruit as dark pink and attractive with a red skin. Now this is Cosmic Charlie 2S. Now, in my experience, it was slower to grow, and I got this from Spicy Exotics in Louisiana. And the fruit, as Paul describes it, can be deep red to dark purple. Now, I just experienced this one as being a little bit slower to grow, although it's taking off here as it reaches over a year old. And I also gave it a part sun. So it seems like Cosmic Charlie prefers a little less Southern California sunlight. Okay, the beautiful 5S, Purple Haze. Now you can tell it has slightly longer spines than the other hybrids from Paul Thompson. You see it right there. And in addition, the, the fruit is magenta in color, the flesh, and Paul Thompson said it was no improvement in flavor from the parents. So he says it tastes great, but there was no improvement from the parents. Now I also, this kept growing longer and longer, so I tipped it off with my fingertip to hopefully develop a canopy. So Purple Haze grows pretty quick and I give it a bit of shade in Southern California. It seems to be not quite as sun tolerant as Sugar Dragon S8 or 1S Physical Graffiti. So this is Purple Haze 5S. There's actually another part of 8S that we need to discuss, Sugar Dragon. So on the right here is Voodoo Child, which was an 8S renamed by Pine Island Nursery. I got this at Spicy Exotics. And on the left here, this is an 8S renamed by Linda Nickerson out of Elk Creek Dragon Fruit, which is now, she's retired. But this is, she renamed it Sugar Dragon. So. Apparently there may or may not be some differences. I can't, you cannot tell a diff the differences from the plant material, but it could be possible that this is a seedling of a sugar dragon that was self-pollinated, I'm not sure. But we do know that sugar dragon on the left is a universal pollinator, as it described, and voodoo child is described as self-fertile. So it'll be interesting to see in the future. I wanna see are there differences between these two is Sugar Dragon on the left, the same thing as Voodoo Child on the right here. So I'm keeping them separated, and the growth looks oh so slightly different, in my opinion, on Voodoo Child. But time will tell. We need flowers, fruit, and the plant flesh to, to know more. And last but not least, I want to clarify something. I thought about how 4S could be Maria Rosa, but there's no way. I mean, look at the structure. This is such a different variety. And it's definitely not a dwarf like Paul Thompson describes. So 4S is still eluding me. If you have it or know about it, please hit us up in the comments and let us know more about it. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.